What are you doing, mateys? We are listening to the most popular song of the summer. That doesn't sound like any sea shanty I've ever heard. That's because it's a whale song made by humpback whales. Look! Whoa! These whales are on their way to their summer feeding grounds. They use their songs to talk to each other. And they can hear the songs even when they're miles and miles apart. And the song they're singing now has been really popular this year. All the humpbacks are singing it. It's the only song on the radio. Listen. Here. Here. And here. Humpbacks all over the world are singing the exact same song. Incredible. Let me try. Uh, hang on. That's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean, it sounds different. I've never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashy. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales. Yes? Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Uh, nope, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. You hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm Hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm uh, kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh! So that's why the other whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Joe here is 
hungry and all alone. If we're going to help him, we need to find a way to make the other whales understand Joe's song. I might have an idea, Cap. With a little help, I think I could build a special machine that Joe could wear that would make his voice sound like the other humpbacks. Oh, really? Oh, but won't that take a long time? I'll have it done faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy fish biscuits. It's our best shot. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Here you are, Joe. You can wear the Joe coder on your neck. Just tap it with your fan when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this... Go ahead, Joe. <coughs> ...to this! <coughs> hey! I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can... <coughs> But now Joe's gone. The loud noise frightened him. We'd better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it! He's done it, Captain! Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Hey, so where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it! That works! <laughs> now, that's more like it. Let's just hope someone's listening. Hey, who's that singing? What a great song! It's our pal, Joe. Oh, I love your style. We're on our way to the feeding grounds. You should come with us. Oh, gee, thanks. And thank you, Octonaut, for having me sing my song. Listen. They're all singing your song. Now go. Good work, everyone. Joe should have no trouble finding the feeding grounds now that he's teamed up with the other humpbacks. And they really seem to like his song. It's not just Joe's friends. Humpbacks are singing it everywhere. <laughs> Looks like it's catching on here, too. All done. Fit as a fiddlefish. 
Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby? Because, well, I'm a crab, and my shell hurts. Hmm, sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? That's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is... Oh, oh no. don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh. Get, get, get away. But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 orca! Orca! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if... Hey, so? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashie, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? <gasps> You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it. Ah. <laughs> 
Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> <sighs> Clam, would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! Hey, so a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This dive is for Peso. Clam, clam, Peso, clam, clam, Peso. Quasi. Are you all right, Peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. Look out! We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! <laughs> but how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. <laughs> Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. <laughs> That's it. Now. Leap. Phew. Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey. Who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it! <laughs> Come on, everyone! Follow me! Hey, wait for me! He can do it! He can do it! He did it! I can't believe
believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the Octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch, with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal, and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, worthy octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? I'm getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic Range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. 
Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Uh, it's caught on something. Uh, uh, yes, that did it. Uh, uh. Oh, there it is. Ah, <gasps> uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Narwhals, back away as far as you can. It's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. I'd better pull out as soon as everything stops spinning. stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. <laughs> Bowhead whales. Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? <laughs> Look! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Nichols, my dear old friend, thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris, we're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Yip, 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 yip. Bye. 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 Monkey with a tool belt. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. 
Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it.